Chapter 1 Prologue The Last Red Fox You are listening at FameTV.info In a dense forest, the peaceful environment was broken by figures running in it. Those figures were running at an inhuman speed and some were even flying in the air. Ahead those figures was a young woman in a dark red dress. She was panting hard but she was trying her best not to get caught. Stop, called one of her pursuers. He looked to be the leader especially with the golden armor that adorned his body. No. I didn't do it, screamed the young woman in return. We won't hurt you. They always say that. All of a sudden, like an annoying cliché for someone who was trying to run away, a deep chasm cut off her path. A dead end. Seriously, she gasped. Nixtriel. We won't hurt you, shouted the leader once again. The king will never harm you. Ha, she exclaimed in a mocking tone. Why should I believe you guys? Especially you Rixki. The king only wants to keep you safe. You mean trap me in his castle like some sort of prisoner. It is for your safety. You are the last nine-dot-tailed red fox. The king you owe so love and respect drove my sister to her death, she screamed again. A sword suddenly appeared in her hands and hate flashed in her eyes. You executed her for a crime she never did. Have you forgotten how she saved the gods from devil's invasion? When the breach opened, who made an agreement to the trespassers and closed it? Your sister stole a sacred fruit of course she has to be punished for it. Does her life and achievements the same as a sacred fruit, which she never stole, she retorted. You are blinded by your hate and are therefore confused. Guards. Get her. Nixtriel raised her sword and defended herself from the advances of her opponents. She did her best not to kill them and only neutralize them. But there were six of them and only one of her. All of a sudden, Rixki attacked with his golden spear at hand. Nixtriel managed to parry it, but the leader of the guards was much heavier than her. She gathered energy around her arms and sword and deflected the spear. Her release of energy created a force that pushed her opponents away from her. She slowly looked back and saw the chasm behind her. She had no plans on killing them, but she didn't want to return either. The guards picked themselves up from the ground where they were thrown and did a defensive stance. They were ordered to catch Nixtriel, and they must never fail. All of a sudden, Nixtriel pointed her sword to the sky and six light blue orbs suddenly formed. Don't underestimate me. Have you forgotten? My sister taught me how to fight and I was her second dot in dot command during the devil's invasion. The orb suddenly released a strong shockwave that swept her opponents up their feet, except for one. Rixki was able to defend himself by striking the ground with his spear and stay in place. Dust blocked Nistriel's vision and she could feel herself a little drained. She had been on the run for almost three months and she never had proper rest and meal. But suddenly, a spear came her way. She tried to dodge it, but the ground suddenly disappeared from her feet and she felt herself falling to the chasm. Nixtriel went free. Falling and she knew it was her end. She watched her sword vanish and then accepted the fact that she was about to die. The sky got farther and farther away until there was nothing but darkness. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.